Okay, which which security guard do you think we should talk to? I don't know, Edgeworth. We should probably go talk to all of them. You're right, you're right, Kay. Of course, naturally, we should talk to all of them. How about you talk to that guy that you're standing right next to? And I'll go talk to the other one. No, you're supposed to go to that freaking Kay. Oh my gosh. She doesn't listen. She just follows me all, all over the place. Why? Why, Kay? Why do you do that? Oh my gosh. Anyway, everyone, I don't know if I said it already or not, but welcome back. Uh, uh. So, I actually forgot to talk about this last episode, but before I talk to the security guards, oh my goodness, there was a freaking announcement of Tales of Vesperia getting a definitive edition coming out to PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Holy crud. I know there was actually rumors of that for a few days, but I mean, you know, rumors are rumors until they're proven true. And gosh dang it, it was freaking true, and it's going for everything. All four of them. With the PS3 content included. That is freaking hype. And you know what? I'm going to tell you right this very moment in time. I'm going to do a series on that. Or I'd like to do a series on that anyway. Ideally with the PC version, but if I can't do the PC version, I will... I will... Do the Switch version. Some way, somehow, I will do it. I mean, I do have a way to do it, but you know, I don't know. All right, all right. Well, anyway, I got that announcement out of the way. Oh, Tales of Vesperia coming whenever the heck the game comes out. Sometime in the winter. Is it going to be winter 2018 or is it going to be winter 2019? I mean, like, it's this winter. So, I mean, are we talking about December or are we talking about January, February? Makes you wonder. But either way, it's coming then. So be on the lookout for it, everyone. All right, finally talk to guards. At long last. Hey, guard, what do you think about Tales of Vesperia getting a... You know, the, the new versions coming out. Hmm, this is a difficult, this is a difficult case. What's wrong? Is something troubling you? Uh, sir, one of my uniforms has gone missing. But I'm certain that I placed it in the locker. Maybe the uniform grew legs and it walked off somewhere? What kind of logic is that? In any case, I wish you the best in your search. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you for your support. Stolen uniform data dropped down by organizer, stolen from a locker in the detention center's hallway on March 26th. What about you? What do you gotta say? <coughs> Excuse me. You there, have you seen a black dog around here? Oh, I forgot to actually look at this, come to think of it. I could have showed it to Kay, I would have been like, What do you have to say about this, Kay? Uh, of course not! If I had actually seen it, I wouldn't be standing around here so carefree! Um, did something happen with that doggy? Okay, let's not press this matter any further. Hmm. So Dogen's dog didn't come by the detention center. Oh, there you are! Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind! Mr. Shields, where did you go? Where indeed? I've been searching for you guys this whole time. You're crying a lot, I missed an entire episode because of that. You gotta make sure you actually find me a little faster next time around. Walking all around the prison is hard work, you know? That's strange seeing you, seeing as you came from the opposite direction. Dot, 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 dot. I've got some new information. You wanna hear it? Do you? You sure changed the subject quickly. I heard a little something from the guards. It seems Knightley caused a bit of an incident two days ago. An incident? You know, Simon said he came to visit Knightley, right? After the visit, when Knightley returned to his cell... Naturally, a guard escorted Knightley back to his cell. While the guard was unlocking his handcuffs. All of a sudden, Knightley struck the guard and knocked him out. Seems he was going to attempt a jailbreak. By the time the other guards arrived, the key to his cell had disappeared. But there's been no reports of Knightley's jailbreak attempt two days ago. Exactly. It's strange, isn't it? Right up until his death, he was still in a cell. What's more, Knightley claimed he'd never stole the key in the first place. In fact, they searched his cell and the key was nowhere to be found. Did the guard who was struck have anything to say? No one knows. He was taken to the hospital while he was still unconscious. He's still there now, it seems. So in the end, we still don't know what happened. So just go visit the guard in the hospital and... Woo! 
See what it, that's uh, the second episode of my recording session. Here come the yawns. Uh, what, a, what a surprise. Just go freaking ask the guy in the hospital. My goodness, though. Nightly cell data, cell key data dropped down to my organizer during the attack on the guard. The key was to nightly cell was stolen, current location unknown. It's you! Hmm, that voice. Oh. Never mind. Oh, sorry, I didn't even know these guys were here. I thought they were just slacking or something. What are you still doing hanging around here? Oh, uh, well, you see, this is my assistant. Are you here to object our investigation and make me into a laughing stock? Sebastian, I believe obstruct is the word you're looking for. In a way, I think his expression was apt. A pleasure meeting you again, Judge Courtney. I am... I know. You are Simon Keyes, defense attorney, are you not? Oh, Simon Keyes, defense attorney. Okay, I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, his name is not Simon Keyes now. Well then, let's skip the formalities and celebrate our happy reunion with a hug. Oh, or maybe not. Incidentally, I heard you mention an assistant a moment ago. Yeah, we're assistants at the Edgeworth Law Offices. Pro Wait. Prosecutors, prosecutors are civil servants to open aside businesses to betray the goddess of law. As long as profit is not our objective, there shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, that's it. Miles here is a volunteer worker. The purpose of my office isn't to make money, we're pro bono. What a wonderful heart you have defending others without demanding payment. Ah! <laughs> I, I do have an amazing charitable heart. More importantly, I'd like you to explain your reasons for arresting Simon Keys. There's no need to. Is that a challenge against me? No, I was speaking with Judge Courtney. I guess it can't be helped if you want to take on the best. You will fall like the rest. I haven't said anything yet, but this is convenient. Then I will hear you out. What were your reasons for arresting Mr. Keys? I see no need to inform you. Sebastian, uh... <laughs> Just watch, Justine. Watch as I run around in circles against this useless prosecutor. I think you mean run circles around me. Yeah, that's what I meant. Prepare yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh my gosh! Reasons for arrest? So you want to know my reasons for arresting that man? The answer is simple, yes. I found traces of that guy over there. How is that? Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive, right? Of course, I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. How am I supposed to go about pressing that? How is that? Got nothing to say? Speechless in my presence? <sighs> this guy sure talks a lot. So you're the one who arrested Mr. Keys, I take it? Mr. DeBest, do you have the right to do such a thing? Well, obviously, it was the police who carried out the arrest. But since it was under my direction, shouldn't it also count as my arrest? As I expected. It'd be difficult to deal with both of them at the same time. However, her silence is troubling me. Just what is she thinking? I don't know. I have no idea. Robots hold reasons for arrest. So you want to know my reasons for arresting that man? Kind of, I suppose? I mean, my goodness. It's about time we're taking these two on. I was like, when is this going to happen? Is this ever going to happen? I have no idea. The imprisoned turnabout in the middle. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. We're finally in the middle of things. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going to press you now. Oh, it's freaking music, though. Let's get one thing clear. You do know who you arrested, right? What? Do you take me for a fool? 
The one I arrested was Simon Keys, no doubt about it. I expected he at least understand that much. Well, that's good, I suppose. Obviously, he, he had a fatal reason for arresting Simon. Really, that's quite a surprise. So what is this fatal reason for the arrest? Are you attempting to lure information out of me through flattery? A good strategy, but I'm afraid. It won't work on me. Where did she... she did, did the, what? The, okay, sure. Hi, Courtney, what's up? We have found vital evidence impl implicating Simon Keys. That's what Sebastian was trying to say. Yes. So because of this fatal vital evidence, I had Simon arrested. The answer's simple, yes. We found traces of that guy over there. Hold it. That guy over there? That's certainly vague. Well, don't they say the best hears one thing and understands ten? You're just being lazy. Explain more clearly. Sebastian, if it's all right with you, I would you please explain it to them in more detail? I'm sure that everyone wants to hear what you have to say. Hmm, all right, if you insist, Justine. We discovered that. Perhaps you didn't know, but the victim carried a chessboard with him. From it, we found that suspect guy's... I mean, Simon Chi's fingerprints. Well, well done, Sebastian. I bless you on the behalf of the Goddess of Law. Please amend your testimony. Are you all right with that? Prosecutor Edgeworth? Y yes The victim carried a chess board from it. He found Simon Key's fingerprints. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. What a folding chest would belong to Knightley, Simon. Brought to him on his request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to it in a minute, but I want to press him first. Surely it wasn't you who discovered the fingerprints. Hey, I'm just a prosecutor, aren't I? I leave that stuff to the forensics team. These fingerprints could be a problem, but wasn't the chessboard originally... Maybe I should take another look at the evidence. Yes! You should! How's that? Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive, right? What's perfectly simple and decisive is how flimsy our testimony is. I mean, obviously we gotta get a little trash talk in there before we actually present the decisive evidence, right? What are you saying? You just can't keep up with my train of thought. It may be presumptuous of me, but allow me to explain. The fingerprints found at the scene that belong to the guards and the prisoners. And the only ones that should not have existed belong to Simon Keys. Yes, exactly. Do you get it now, Mr. Edgeworth? The real question is, do you get it? The answer is no. The other prints belong to the victim and the guards. Yes, only Simon's prints are unnatural. If there were other people's fingerprints, then there should be more suspects. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible. And why is that? Certainly, if not for Simon Key's prints, there would have been more suspects. However, his fingerprints should not have existed. But that's right, after all, Simon is... He's neither a prisoner nor a guard, so naturally he wouldn't have been allowed into the prison. And yet he left his fingerprints. I think that's enough reason for an arrest, wouldn't you say? Yes, well done, Justine. You're welcome. Thought she was going to say something else after that, but apparently not. Of course, I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. First one to notice, do you have any proof? I noticed it the very instant I saw the crime scene. Faster than the speed of light, that's the best kind of proof. Hmm. And what does that prove? <laughs> you still don't understand. 
But don't feel too bad. You're simply not the best, like, unlike me. I don't think I want to understand. I mean, who does, right? My, re my reasoning is fast and light. It'll take you a light year to get hit. In short, I am the best. You do realize that a light year is not a measure of time. Oh. Uh. Sebastian, a light year is a unit of distance. Oh, right. What? This isn't the time for this. What is he saying? It's really vague and hard to understand. First off, to teach him how to speak a language people can understand. Teach it to him, Pro Professor Edgeworth. Obviously, we had a fatal reason for arresting Simon. He did a thing. Wait. The victim carried a chest from him and we found Simon Key's fingerprints. That was the one, right? I think it was. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm getting really tired. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I wish I remember which one it was. Was it that one or was it this one? The other prince belonged to the victim. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. Right. Pretty sure it's that one. So, present the chess board then. You're an idiot. Fingerprints found on the chessboard. Is that the ace up your sleeve? Ace in my sleeve? Ah, oh, Ace up my sleeve? Yes, the methods I use are always the best. This ace is my trump card. Well then, allow me to show you that it is not, in fact, the trump card at all. Simon Keys was the one who sent this chessboard to the victim in the first place. So it's only unnatural, it's only natural some of his prints would be left on it. Ah! That took way too long. These fingerprints are hardly decisive evidence. Perhaps your arrest was a little too rash. Rash? To begin with, this incident occurred in the detention center and the prison. To suspect, suspect Simon just because he isn't a prisoner or a guard is a little unreasonable. Ah! What? What? What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> I finally get what you're trying to say. Rash. You mean we were too quick to arrest the guy, right? He was stuck on that? Sure, I was the first to lay eyes on him. And I was the first to notice the evidence. That was even faster. But I am not rash. Sure, Simon Keys isn't a guard or a prisoner, but... Sebastian. Judge Courtney. W what are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that. Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words are on the suspect are very interesting. However, shouldn't you get to the best part first? The best part? Why don't you tell them about your wonderful reasoning regarding the murder weapon? Good one, Justine. Nice suggestion. Mr. Edgeworth, listen to my first-rate reasoning. Will this reasoning explain why you arrested Mr. Keys? I'm sure it will meet your expectations. I highly doubt that. Judge Courtney just changed the flow of the conversation. Just what is she planning? She was the murderer all along! I knew it! Woo! You were expecting... Sirhan Dogen, but it was I! Justine Courtney instead! Oh my goodness, what a plot twist indeed. She Long Lang. Age 27, gender male, Inspector Interpol. With the highest arrest rate. With the highest arrest rate, jeez. A citizen of Zheng Fa. Oh, I bet he is. I bet he is a citizen of Zheng Fa indeed. Murder weapons location. 
it's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. However, the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. So, that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard, isn't it obvious he brought and used the murder weapon? At least it's clearer than his last testimony. It's the best reasoning that you can get from Prosecutor the Best. How do you like that? Now he's mixing up the best with his own name. I mean, who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed that he would do something like that? Only the best would do something like that. But could someone really hide a weapon inside a get sent to a prisoner? <laughs> You'll find a good place if you examine the inside of the chessboard. Wait, I was able to examine the inside of the chessboard? You can open it from here! There, hurry up and open it! Why are you getting so excited? What are you saying? Doesn't everyone get excited when they're opening a box? I think that probably applies to you only. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, totally. These are chess pieces, right? I saw something similar in your office, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? Huh? But the pieces are here are black and white. Those are the correct colors. My pieces were custom made. Custom made? That sounds like treasure to me. Her eyes are sparkling. Does she intend to steal it? Possibly. Possibly. But I want to look at more, though. Not just that. I want to look at this side, too. And that. And this. What happens if I open it and then I examine it? I mean, what would change exactly? I mean, naturally. It's so, it's so much different now, right? So not like I can close it. Nope, nope, nope. None of that. All right, that was the only thing I can look at. So anyway, well, what do you say about that? Inside the chessboard, is there some place to hide a weapon? I literally just freaking looked at it, Edgeworth. Come on now. As I thought, there were only chess pieces inside. <laughs> wow, what an annoying laugh. That was okay. Whatever then. Inside the chessboard, huh? Perhaps I should examine it a bit further. Hmm. These are chess pieces, right? I saw something similar in y'all. Wait, I, I okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, what? Oh. This is the top panel is removable. It's quite deep. Yes, there's more than enough room to hide a small knife. Understand now. This is how the culprit smuggled in the. Objection! Hmm. Hmm. What's with the hmm? I wasn't even finished. Mister the best. There is a. So there is something you have forgotten. There's a gate at the entrance of the detention center. Uh. Well, there is, but. He means the security gates with the metal detector, Sebastian. We had to pass through the same check when we entered the prison, remember? Ah, ah, yeah. That's it, I remember now. It looks like he completely forgot. It would be impossible to smuggle a sharp metal object into the detention center. Therefore, your reasoning never held even from the very beginning. And you're trying to tell me it's not? That gate is only used on people. In other words, packages sent in the to the detention center undergo a simpler check. So they don't use a metal detector for that. This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. Chessboard data updated in my organizer. Portable folding chessboard belonged to Knightley. There was a hidden space inside the chessboard. Security gate data jotted down in my organizer. Locate the entrance of the detention center in the prison. Checks for metal objects. Right, Justine. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Now then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. A cross-examination, if you please. Cross-examination. It's as if we were in the courtroom. Very well, his reasoning. 
Let's see how long it will hold up under pressure. Probably not too long, maybe rebuttal, murder weapon's location. It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. Was it now? How do you know that for sure? <laughs> you don't have any proof. Your proof doesn't exist because it shouldn't. And therefore doesn't. So how could it? I mean, how could it really? I don't know. I'm gonna press things first and then I'm gonna go on to things. Hold it! Hold it! The sharp metal object. Do you have proof of that? Didn't you see the victim's wound, worthless prosecutor? The fatal blow was a stab to the throat. And the knife perfectly matches up with that. There can all be no other explanation. Hmm. It seems they don't know about that piece of information yet. Uh, penetrating wound and neck die instantly covering their, their small bruise in the head. What were they talking about? What was it exactly they were talking about here? Hmm. I don't remember right now. Maybe I'll just look at it later. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll look at that stuff later. Once I press things. <laughs> Nothing to say. Speechless, aren't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Right. Next. There is plenty more to my reasoning. I feel like I was doing his voice wrong for like five seconds there, but whatever, I don't care. However, the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. Even with the strict control, there were still some items that could be used, right? Well, yeah, things like grooming scissors. Of course, there's more to this, right, Sebastian? But exactly. At the time of the incident, only one was being borrowed. However, there was no reaction when we tested for blood. Those would be the scissors Mr. Sawat was practicing with. Uh, excuse me. So the inside of the prison was completely clear of sharp implements. So that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Can you... wait. There's no sharp objects, but... But... Carved a hound piece on a whim. I mean, he carved it! He carved it! Hmm... Maybe that has something to do with what I need to do. Maybe, maybe! Can you be... Could, can you be more specific about where it came from? Of course I can. It didn't come from the inside the prison. Is he trying to sound smart? Simon Keyes brought it in. That's what we mean. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you even figure that much out? I'm disappointed in you. And you've disappointed me from the start. So Simon brought the murder weapon. But how, you ask? Yes. It was hidden inside that chessboard. No weapon was found at the crime scene, not even inside the chessboard. So where did the murder weapon disappear to? I'd like to hear your answer to that. Th th that's... well, after the crime, the culprit must have hidden it somewhere in the prison. Is there a problem with the statement the, the best just made? Uh... not yet. No. Woo! There doesn't seem to be a problem. Mr. The Best, can you continue your testimony? Oh, uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, the murder weapon was hidden inside the chessboard. And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard... Hold it! Gosh, there's too much testimony. Was it really just their fingerprints you found? Hm. My pops always says... You may be foolish in youth, but you must not be stupid. Dot dot dot. I'm not stupid. W what was that? Ugh. He means he's not stupid enough to tell a lie. 
Oh, uh, I, 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 I knew that. I'm not stupid enough to lie, so the fingerprints are the honest truth. Isn't it obvious who brought and used the murder weapon? So can you tell us exactly who this person was? <laughs> the culprit is you! Er? Uh, Simon isn't here. Dot 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 dot. Such a pitiful man. We'd best go gently on him. I see, I just wanted to tease him. Dot 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 Don't make fun of me! The last testimony sure seemed like faulty reasoning. Judge Courtney helped him out. No, the argument was entirely her own reasoning. In that case, this will be tough. Got anything up your sleeve, Miles? Of course, they don't know all the facts. This reasoning doesn't appear to have any weak points at the first glance, but... But in closer inspection, there's a hole, right? I should press him to draw out more information from this hole. Then find the hole in their logic. Dang it, he said something about the hole. I was trying to freaking make my own joke, but okay, I see, Andrew Wars, I see. I'll strike first and take hold of any clues I find. Hmm. Well. However, the prison maintains strict control of potentially lethal items. That's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought from outside. That was inside that chest board. Was it this one? Hmm. No, it was not. Just was inside that chest board. Which one was it? Was it this one? That's is there a problem with. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna say there's no problem. I want to read this over again to see what there is. Do I do I need to actually do this one, or is it like just a false statement, perhaps? Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. No weapon was found at the crime scene, not even in the chessboard, so where did the murder weapon disappear to? I'd like to hear your answer to that. That's why the kind of crime that must have hidden it somewhere in the prison. Is there a problem with it? There is a problem. The murder weapon is hidden inside the prison. I don't think so. That's clear from this piece of evidence. What shows that the murder weapon can't be inside the prison? Wait. Now I'm not really sure anymore. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that prison's different. It could be in the it's in the holding cell, so. So, in that case. I would wanna show. Not the hound piece. Oh wait. Mr. DeBest and Warden roll and search the entire prison but did not find the murder weapon. I mean, like, really? Really now? Take that. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought, I thought it was wrong. I was like, no, come on now. Have you completely forgotten your own actions? You, along with Warden Roland, conducted the search of the prison. Did you not find the murder weapon, right? Oh, gosh, well, I mean, he injured himself, but then he healed immediately. Th that's... We must have overlooked something. This guy just completely contradicted himself. You carried out such a sloppy investigation. I'm amazed you call yourself the best. Are you mocking me? Whoa, hammer time. Woo! Sebastian. Ah. Please calm yourself. Don't get caught up in the opponent's pace. I'm fine, Justine. Did you really think the best prosecutor would be shaken by someone miles b behind him? I wish he'd stop me- <laughs> Freaking puns, I swear. I wish he'd stop messing around with other people's names. Oh, in that case, Kay Faraday is far, fair ahead. Just, just no, just no, no. Kay, don't get- don't you get caught up in this too. Yes. If my best investigation didn't find anything, then it must not have been a single weapon in the prison. In that case, there's only one possibility. And I think we're gonna hear what he's gonna say about that one possibility on the next exciting episode, of course. Oh! Oh my gosh!
The best! Sebastian! Sebastian the best! What is your one possibility? Is it gonna be more shenanigans? Probably. Gosh dang, what are your shenanigans? My goodness, I don't understand these- Oh, jeez. And they were saying Miles Edgeworth had shenanigans, but no, it's a lie. Mr. The Best and everyone who testifies against Miles Edgeworth is full of shenanigans. And that is a fact! Don't you deny it! Goodbye, everyone!